Golfers of YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about that all important word in golf, compression. Uh, compression, what does it mean? What, what's the, why does everyone chase it? Why this, why that? And I feel like um, it gets used a lot, especially in coaching, to kind of force you to do things and, and as such. But basically all it is about is, is about pushing the ball into the ground to create that kind of movement. Um, again, if you're kind of watching, if you're watching a club kind of come through and it's like this to impact, obviously it's a very weak shot. Whereas if you watch like tour pros when they're coming through, you'll see like the shaft handle is slightly in front. Um, basically what I want to talk about today is something that really helped me moving forward with compression. It didn't help me create the compression, but what it definitely did is help me create the feel um, for it. And it's, it's called the tour striker uh, ball. So basically what you do is you put it round your neck, just like this. You lock it in between your hands and it keeps you connected. One of my big issues is when I get to the top, I kind of have like this flying elbow, which when you kind of watch it, if I was to do it with, with the tall striker ball, what you'd see is this, and my elbow kind of, let's say, detaches um, from the golf swing. So what this then intends to do is try and keep my elbows kind of nice and close. So when I'm obviously trying to hit a golf shot, boom, move it through, turn the body through the, through the golf shot and, uh, and crack on with it. I'd really genuinely say, get one of these. I think they are worth the weight in gold. Obviously, when you are starting with one, you know, go with a bit of loft first because then you can almost feel like you can really lean that shaft forward and still get the properties that you're looking for. So let's see it in action. And honestly, if you can find a grass range, the importance of a grass range is, is so beneficial. I'll probably talk about this more and more as, as the channel kind of develops and grows. Um, but when you're kind of on a range mat, you you can get away with a lot of stuff on a range mat and still think you've hit a really good shot. Whereas when you then come out on the course, you're like, well, I wasn't doing this on the range. Yeah, because the mat was significantly helping you. Let's say you kind of go, the ball is over here and you get into the ground here. In here, the grass will collect you. Whereas on a range mat, it'll probably bounce the ball up a little bit and you'll strike it through. So again, if you can, grass range, brilliant. So yeah, we'll, let's kind of run through then. So. Obviously what we're doing is we're putting the ball in between, we're holding it there, we're making it through, and honestly just feel like you're just half swinging at the moment, so just working on that, on that contact. And yeah, it doesn't have to be anything, anything crazy, it doesn't have to be anything kind of um, groundbreaking. I've told you time and time again, there is no secret in golf, it's hard work with the right um, learning. And honestly, there is no better thing than just using one of these or using another training aid that gets the right result. Problem is, there's that many training aids now, it, you can get so kind of lost in what they're trying to achieve. And the training aid, whilst it might be good for someone, isn't good for all. And I think that's, I see it a lot with like, let's cure slices. Well, you don't know what slices are doing. Um, you know, you don't know how their bodies are operating. You're kind of going for the majority, but there's a lot of minority out there as well. So yeah, one of these is absolutely solid, keeps you nice and connected. And kind of what I want you to feel is like when you're obviously hitting, I'll kind of hit one just over here now with a half swing. You know, what I want you to kind of feel is like the fact of you keep nice and connected, obviously, connection is key. But then if you want to move get a bigger shoulder turn it's not this you're not standing up out of it you keep nice and over it and just something like it keeps you nice and connected you can go to a full swing with this so that's absolutely fine um, which I'll demonstrate for you now but yeah I mean don't don't get suckered into you know getting a training aid and thinking oh it's gonna solve everything it doesn't it really doesn't but you know, for a full swing, you're here, you're here. And then it's just, just like that. I mean, you can't, you can't really go wrong with this training aid because it will kind of show you where your flaws are. If you're kind of like me, who likes to fly an elbow, 
Whilst it's great to generate some power, it's terrible for accuracy, so you've got to pick and choose your moments. So here we go, get it nice and centered. In you go, here. And there you go. Super, super, super simple training aid. Honestly worth its weight. Doesn't have to be a tall striker one, look on eBay, you'll find one cheaper. Um, but yeah, fantastic, fantastic bit of kit this, highly recommend. Um, and honestly helped me kind of keep everything connected through my golf swing. And we'll talk about connection more. Connection works on putting, chipping, long game. It's, it runs so, so much through the golf swing. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. YouTube, we'll see you later.